police in Tennessee are warning against a new nightmare, meth gators. Yeah. Cody is sitting by with your news of the weird. Next time you uh, produce a Tesla yeah. about meth gators, I think we should write the screenplay for that so it's a sci-fi network mm. that, as yeah. quickly as possible. Agreed, agreed. Uh, Egypt <laughs> is opening an ancient 4,600-year-old pyramid to tourists. The so-called Bent Pyramid is about 25 miles south of Cairo and has been close since 1965 for repairs, the massive restoration project, including fortifying the entrance and inner rooms leading to the burial chamber. Archaeologists say they found hidden tombs as well as mummies and masks during nearby excavations that started last year. Well, that's kind of cool. Yeah. What'd you do on vacation? Oh, uh, went to the beach and got some ice cream. What'd you do <laughs> when that mummy's tomb? Uh, police in Tennessee are begging civilians, please stop flushing your drugs. They arrested a man after he allegedly tried to flush a dozen grams of meth and other drugs down his own toilet. Officers jokingly said that that could create meth gators in Alabama. <laughs> what? <laughs> in a post on Facebook about the arrest, they wrote, now our sewer guys take great pride in releasing the water that is cleaner than what's in the creek, but they're not really prepared for meth. Meth, meth gator. Gators. I'm telling you. Play writing quickly. It writes itself. It's the prequel no. to Sharknado. A wildlife expert and her photographer set off on an undersea adventure around the United Kingdom, and they witnessed something that was nothing sort of amazing. Uh, BBC wildlife host and biologist Lizzie Daly swam next to a giant jellyfish ah. that appeared to be as big as her body. Wow. Look at that thing. A video of the jellyfish taken by Daly's underwater cinematographer Dan Abbott has gone viral. The cream colored jellyfish was spotted off the coast of Cornwall, England. These are apparently known to be pretty large, but not this large. Like that thing is ginormous. Yeah, it is. And wow. I, for one, welcome our jellyfish overlook. <laughs> Holy Toledo, there's some well loved roadside furniture in Ohio for Hal to sit on if he's brave enough. <laughs> you could make. You could make your basement look just like an Ohio strip club. Uh, That's wait, right. Uh, uh, you know. Huh? Scarlet's is open, but it caught fire back in June. You, you might remember we let off the news uh, yep. with it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So after a little yeah. remodel, they're ditching their old furniture for free 99. Poles and scanned clad ladies are not included, though. But you can't get the furniture. Huh. All right. There you go. Back to you. Thanks, Code. <laughs> Oh man. All right. We are looking.